Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the Pennsylvania toy collector of White Oak, PA. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing Transformers, Legends, Cliff Jumper. And this is based on the Generations Cliff Jumper. It's not the correct car mode for Cliff Jumper, but this figure I've had for a while since it's my very first Cliff Jumper that I got from Dollar General, I think, for about six bucks. And it rolls very well. The painting and sculpting are very good on this Legends figure, which I do like. But now we're going to get down to transformation, which is simple. Just like the Legends Bumblebee we did review, split the doors from the front section, cording the legs down, rotate this down, flip down the feet, the bumper to become the feet, fold down the arms, and there we got Cliff Jumper in his robot mode. And this is a really good looking cliff jumper. Sure, it's just a retool of Bumblebee, but I do love the effort they put into this figure. But now we're gonna get down to comparison. Here he is next to his wave mate, Bumblebee. And they look good together with some other cliff jumpers. Generations 30th Anniversary Cliff Jumper. And of course, finally, Earthrise Cliff Jumper. You're probably wondering, where did I get this figure? I got this from Dollar General for about 10, like 6 bucks. Back when I originally got it. It is a Legends Cliff Jumper worth adding to your Transformers collection? I'd say yes. He is an adorable little Legends class, along with Bumblebee. If you can get, get yourself a set of these, you won't regret it. Because I just love Bumblebee and his fellow bot Cliff Jumper, because his name was Retro Cliff Jumper. Because they were like the same head sculpt bots, which I liked. And that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.